Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning we're going to talk about how does your retirement score within your financial snapshot. So let's jump right into it. So for many people, retirement is something that they don't want to think about. They don't want to plan for now. They want to be able to put off and actually focus on in the future so that they can enjoy the here and now, so that they can enjoy in investing in what makes them happy now. And so when you're looking at the, the compound interest working in your favor, there's a huge benefit to starting early and being consistent. And so when you're looking at a financial snapshot, look at it from the standpoint of where you're at right now, how much you are saving now, and, and looking at it from a standpoint of, of how you can improve in that retirement savings over a period of time. So when it comes to your retirement savings, your retirement contributions, it's important to look at where you're at right now and figure out from this point which column you fall into. So for your retirement savings, if you are in the excellent column, this means that you've already maxed out your uh, categories with regards to saving for a rainy day. So you have an adequate savings of at least six months of living expenses. Now beyond this, this means that you are taking 25% or more of your income and you are applying that to retirement. So you are being intentional about maximizing first and foremost, your emergency fund, then your retirement fund, and, and actually looking at how you can put as much away as possible into appropriate retirement funds. Now, I understand that there's limitations based on a sponsored plan within an employer, as well as Roth IRAs and so on and so forth. But what you're looking at is actually maxing it out depending on you know, uh, whether you're a business owner or whether you are employed and have a sponsored plan or you, or you have some other retirement means. But really we're looking today at just the percentage. So for the very good column, this means that you have maxed out the amount for your rainy day fund, but that you are also at the 15% mark in regards to your contributions for retirement. So when it comes to the good column, this means that you have at least moderate savings in a rainy day fund and that you are at least putting 10% away for retirement. So the fair column would mean that you do have some rainy day fund saved up and that you are giving at least 5% towards retirement. So the poor column would mean that you're giving at least 3% to retirement, even though you may not have much of a rainy day fund. So the insufficient column means that you have not opened a retirement account and that you're not contributing at least in a systematic approach on an ongoing basis to your retirement account so that you do not actually hit that 3%, that 5%, the 10, 15 or 25% on a regular basis. And so this is just basically looking at where you're at right now. Now, this is not to be disparaging or, you know, or, or concerning around your retirement picture. It's more of just being able to recognize where you're at. So you know what changes need to happen to move in the right direction. So for example, if you make $65,000 as of 2021, you can put $19,500 in a sponsored plan and an additional 6,000 towards a Roth IRA, not including catch-up of course, but this then means that you could feasibly put 39% of your income before a company match away for retirement. Now, when I mentioned an amount of 25%, that is aggressive, but you could actually be maxing out your retirement contributions and be well above that. So my call to action today comes down to figuring out where you fall within those columns in regards to your retirement savings and being able to actually know where you stand when it comes to the percentage of your income that is actually going to retirement. If this information is helpful to you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're reminded to come back on a daily basis and improve in managing your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.